Aloha everybody. Hawaii has been open for a little over two weeks and this week we began welcoming international tourists. Today we are going to take a ride up to the North Shore and see how they are handling the reopening. check out a little something from each one of those today. All right, where else we at, Dana? Okay, so here's the Korean barbecue truck, and they offer everything from bulgogi to karbi and samgyeopso, and it's mainly like um, lunch plates, so it's always two scoops of rice here, a meat, and then your veggies. Always two scoops. All right, last place where we at. Okay, so we are at Surf and Salsa, and it is a taco shop over here, and they have lots of varieties of burritos, and also some chimichangas and some good side dishes too. Here we have the tofu pad thai from Mele Thai and there's nice big pieces of broccoli in there. Fresh bean sprouts, lots of crushed peanuts and stir fried tofu. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that looks good. The best pad thai you've had? Yeah. What? 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 Hmm? Cannot. That's the texture. Good. Good. Sweet. Sweet. The sauce is more flavorful than the other one. Uh, what is this other one you speak of? I think she means the other food truck up here. Oh, that's hot. Aww. Om nom nom. Ha! Ha! It's really good. It's really tasty. How's the peanut sauce spell? On the noodles. Is it peanut sauce? That's what it's made out of. Interesting. <laughs> I thought that was peanuts. Alright, Gina. Hey. Alright, here we go. Swirl it. I am. I got it. I'll get the vegetables with it. Mm. You missed the vegetables. Okay. Mm. Really flavorful. You're right, Belle. Mm -hmm. But then try the vegetables. Okay. So, the tofu is lightly fried it's not like um super dry or crispy it's actually kind of moist and it has a lot of the sauce in there so that's really good and then let's try the little sprouts and carrot see the carrot is just very bland but the pad thai is too good so mm, i actually makes i actually think the carrot's fine um mm -mm. it's not coated in like a ton of sauce or anything like that but it's really tasty yeah it's a pretty plain carrot but i mean i still think it's fine i like them I, that's how i like my um veggies though i like them more on the raw side rather than overcooked and mushy. You know what I mean? And the bean sprouts are nice and fresh too. It's like right, about to try the pad thai. Let's see here. First I'll try the cabbage. The carrot that everyone's talking about. Is the camera on backwards question mark? No. Tastes like a good carrot. Tastes like a carrot. <laughs> Texture's good. Let me try the, the tofu now. Firm tofu. Got a thick skin. It's okay. Tastes like cabbage. Good. Did you try the Korean it's one like yet, babe? Salt and I think people are trying to ruin my, my film here, but mm -hmm. I'm not going to let the haters stop me. Okay, I'm not. I'll try some good. noodles here. Let's see. Did you try the cabbage? No, not yet. 
He's eating cabbage. Mm. He said cabbage a lot. See, it's like really flavorful. It's a tasty noodle. It's powerful. I don't know, it's really good though. Right? Mm. See, I told you. So thinner than normal pad thai. Mm -hmm. But more mm. flavorful than other pad thai. But it's like, there's, there's flavor in every bite. It's so good. Mm. That is a tasty I pad thai. <laughs> Here we have the prugogi plate, and it comes with, of course, two scoops of rice. A little bit of shredded cabbage on the side, and their famous vinegar sauce. Alright, how's your prugogi? Good. It looks like much thicker um, slices of prugogi, yeah? No. No? It's okay. How's the quality? Like, is it a good cut of beef? I haven't had any fat so far. Yeah? Oh, wow. Very mm -hmm. tender. Mm -hmm. Sauce is good, well well marinated. Their cabbage yeah. is good. Cabbage. Oh, but I want you to try this. This is the lady's uh, special vinegar. vinegar on the cabbage. All right. So here's the um, prugogi, and they have nice big chunks of onions and carrots. The prugogi is um, cut a little bit thicker here than normal. Mm. But the flavor is there. It's really perfect. Mm. That's really tasty. <laughs> okay, and the cabbage is in this white vinegar sauce. I saw the people before me ordering several different um, vinegars, so they you said know, go for it. I hear Vin actually ate the cabbage. Vin mm -hmm. did eat the cabbage, like and he does not eat veggies. I like cabbage. Cabbage. Mm. I like it when it's cut up like that. Super good. Super good? Whatever uh, this vinegar is, it's really good. It's your man, turn. Man, I gotta try some now. Come on, bro. Right. Your turn. Alright, here we go. Go ahead, Ben. You can grab some of that pad thai. So I'm gonna try the brugogi platter here. Alright, I gotta try the, uh, the famous cabbage vinegar here. Oh, that's it's got good. some meat sauce on it. Nothing wrong but with it's that. Right. <laughs> it was dripping, dripping. Drip, drip. <laughs> Tasty, right? Good amount of sweet, good amount of what was that sour? Yeah, it's sweet and sour, sure. But but there's something mixed in solid. with the vinaigrette. Like it. It's like a, yeah, it's got like maybe like a little bit of mirin in it. Do you think? Is that what I taste? Maybe. Yeah, that's really good. I'll call it famous. I always like onions in my bulgogi. Nice and thick. Cooked right, still a little got that onion crunch, onion flavor with the marinade built in. Carrots, nice solid carrot there. Try some of this rice. Rice is okay. Let's try some of this meat. See, it's like thicker, right, than brugogi normally, but then it's got like good flavor, right? Flavors. Flavors good. It's got like better than average. It has a little more garlic in it to me, like a garlic flavor. Did you taste that? Did you pick up on the garlic? I do. It's like yeah. in the background. Oh, there's us. Nice and tender meat. Pretty good. Hmm. Burritos coming. Okay, don't go Pretty good. So last up, we have some tacos from Surf and Salsa. These are handmade white corn tortillas. The first one is al pastor, and the other one is carne asada. These are probably the largest tacos that I've seen here on island so far. And then next up, we have a vegetarian burrito. So this is going to be beans, cheese, and rice in a flour tortilla. All right, drum roll. Is it going to be messy? Is it going to pass the bag? 
bell tent. Alright, let's see if this is the best one. It smells legit. It smells legit. Let's see what this one smells like. Uh-oh. Is it better than the frozen one from Costco? <laughs> Bite. Mm, that is super good. Cilantro is fresh. Meat is well spiced, like spice, well seasoned. Definitely a little bit of heat, but nothing overwhelming. Onions are fresh. Meat is tender, not dry, not overcooked at all. I think you're gonna like this one a lot. I think that might be my favorite. The meat is almost like smoky. It almost has like a smoky thing, like texture or flavor, I mean. But I have to say, these might be some of my favorite corn tortillas outside of Miami because this is the closest I can, um, you know, kind of remember to the blue corn tortillas that were in Takiza in Miami. These are really good. You can tell they're fresh. You can tell they're handmade. These are super good. I think you're gonna like these. Let me see that. This is uh, bean and cheese. And rice. And rice. Maybe add the sauce to it for the tacos. Mm. This is good, right? It looks good. The beans are very powerful. Mm, good balance. Good. Show me a sec. In the beginning of it, it was too rice. So Bella, you liked it better as it went on? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because there was too much rice in the middle. You know, okay. sometimes when they make the burrito, they don't take the time to like even things out. Okay. So, so it's um, but now that it all meshed together, it's good. Would you say it's one of your favorite burritos? Um, I don't know. The tortilla is good. Mm. Mm. I know, that's your favorite. <laughs> A burrito would be so good at like 2 30 in the morning. Mm. Yeah. After a night of uh, partying. Mm. Yeah. Uh, what, what am I eating here? Mm. Sure. Your first one is going to be the al pastor. Al pastor. Yeah, try that one first. I love that shell. Do you love the shell? I always think, like, the first bite, I would think, wait a minute, this is good, but like, I couldn't tell, like, and then all of a sudden it starts to sink in and you're like, oh my gosh, wait, this is really good. Right? Al pastor. Doesn't it usually have pineapples or something? Sometimes, yeah. Yeah, but how's that shell? So, sand. so growing up in Mexico. Oh my god. This isn't the shells I'm these aren't the shells I'm used to. This reminds me of more of a what are those called? Like a gordita shell. Oh, more like a flauta? Is that weird? Flauta? Yeah, they're usually fried though. This is not. Fried. You never grew up, grew up in Mexico, do you? Okay, Which go for this? the steak. That's the carne asada. Right, try this, some of this meat. Yeah, try the meat separately because it's really good. Looks pretty good. Did you want a little more to go? Mm. Okay. Well seasoned, good texture. Did you get the little grilled aftertaste on it yet? No. Mm. <laughs> That's a chihuahua for sure. This is the most interesting taco I've ever eaten. Mm-hmm.
the tortilla is very potato-y, you know? Fluffy? It sort of crushes up like a potato. Mm -hmm. Meat's really good. And I love the little crunchiness you get from, are those onions? Yeah, they're onions. No, yeah. onions are really good in there. Which taco did you get, bud? Uh, the first one. Okay, I'll pass the one. That's the pork. Try the steak one too, buddy. Try the steak one. Oh. Sad meat moment. It's quite all right. The steak, very well cooked, has a lot of flavor. And it's the purple. That's the onion. It's onion. It's a, yeah, it's a red onion. Red like, onion's on the show. Why is it called red onion if it's purple? It's just the name. Yeah. No, 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 no. Oh, super good. We just wrapped up lunch. It was really tasty. I like the tacos the best. What do you think? Uh, I like the pad thai. You like the pad thai? Okay, I'm still, I'm gonna stick with my carne asada tacos. And now we are over at Matsumoto's, the famous shave ice place. And we're also checking out some of the stores. All of this has been closed down since March, but now we're seeing that a lot of it has reopened. The kiosks aren't open, but the other stores definitely are open. And um, you can go in and out of all of them, but of course with your mask. Let's go check it out. All right, masks are still required to get in. We got a nice little sign for you. Let's see what they got. for um, little souvenirs and everything like that. And of course they have the little name plates in English and in Malolo for everybody with the Hawaiian tags. Lots of souvenirs. They're advertising end of season sales. That's not super common for Hawaii. This is a special on soda. Oh yeah, we never went over soda prices. They're a little bit inflated here. So that's on sale, two for four fifty for a twenty ouncer. And then you gotta pay a deposit on the bottle. That's true. Here's our pop up sale. Mm -hmm. Pop up sale. Sea turtle, the famous tunnel. That's good. What is that? Oh, oh, check it out. Okay, so so here you go. These are um, stainless steel flasks, and I just want to make sure I'm reading it correctly. Yeah, 48 bucks, right? Oh, cool, brother. Cool, brother is cool. right. Yeah. But this is something that's super common in a lot of 7-Elevens um, and stores here, is that you can actually get legit food. So papaya, um, freshly sliced, $2.79. Um, sandwiches, salads, and all of it is is pretty fresh. It's not like typical of um, like yeah, mainland stores. Like that day old papaya. There. Okay. <laughs> it's not special. Two seventy nine. Uh, no. Some of the our favorite coffee on island. Island, island vintage. vintage. We've got locations all over, but so this one's currently closed, but. They're open, they just have shorter hours. Yeah, it seems that a lot of the places up here have just shortened their hours in order to reopen. So that's pretty great because at least we're seeing some activity come back over here. And they do have the awesome poke bowl here as well. Basically the rules are changing here on the daily. So you do have to still wear masks inside and just about everywhere on island. But we'll definitely put a link below so that everybody can see what the rules are on a daily basis. The guava shop, not yeah. related to any fruits. No, this is um, one of the clothing stores. Okay. Hi, how are you guys? So it's nice to see that they've reopened. They have their Team Aloha shirts. They're kind of known for these. And lots of beach wear, especially cover-ups and all. Oh, I love these sweatpants. They're leather things. <laughs> that is so cute, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love leopard. <laughs> so that's so that's pretty cool to see that a lot of these shops have finally reopened. Oh, there we go. New store hours here, ten to five. And this is one of the um, kind of more popular uh, 
swim shops here on island. You're going to see there's a ton of swim and surf shops. You can buy bathing suits everywhere here. Hi, how are you guys? Good. Good. How's the reopening? Everybody good? Yeah. Yeah. We have lots of swimwear here, especially for the keiki. So keiki are babies here, little kids. Look how cute these are. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love it. Oh, Come on. Thank you, too. One of the things that people don't realize is that up here in the North Shore, there's a large Brazilian population. And um, there's a few Brazilian restaurants that are scattered within the North Shore as well. Also, there's a whole bunch of art galleries here from Wyland, to wise there's just a ton and this is one of them and it is actually reopened so that's pretty cool so we'll take a look inside real quick you can purchase artwork in a lot of places up here on the North Shore and each place has um, its own kind of specialty but they're all beautiful Sell some local jewelry here. Kiele. Lots of pineapples, of course. Love our pineapples here. <laughs> Hawaii's reopening. It was really nice to see that a lot of the businesses came back. Some are at reduced hours, but overall, almost everything had reopened. We got to visit a bunch of food trucks today. Your fave? My food, fave? Food trucks in the North Shore. Like from the ones we ate? Or? Yeah, no, I'm just saying, you like food trucks in general, good food trucks. I like good anything. Yeah, that as long as you true. make a quality product at a reasonable price, I'm that's, buying. That's it. Also really nice to see that um, the tourists that have come in, everybody is pretty much following the rules. So we do have to wear masks everywhere we are outside if you're unable to social distance. The stores are providing antibacterial for you when you go in. Everything is really starting to come back. So, you know, hopefully, fingers crossed, everything stays this way. And, you know, we can increase the activity here in Hawaii. Overall though, I think we had a really nice day. We got some great eats and we got to be up in the North Shore in beautiful weather. Yeah? Yeah, I always like the North Shore. Haleiwa is always nice. Um, Love the beach. Yeah, beaches are nice up here. So, uh, I guess the surf is coming closer in the winter. So the, the tides will start getting a little higher. A little more surfing up here. All the surf competitions usually happen yeah. sometimes between uh, November and February. So this beach is normally really calm. You get to see a lot of turtles and everything. We never get waves like this, but if you look... It's just starting to pick up. You can see some waves out there. You can see the surfers catching the waves right back there. They've all been waiting for it to come in. And the sunset right so over... So from like December, the waves should be pretty high. Uh, we'll come back up here. Definitely. There's some surf competitions. Yep, and the sun is setting over Kaina Point, uh, right behind us, show everybody. So beautiful, always beautiful over here. But overall, it was a really nice day, and it is just so nice to see things reopening and yeah. life starting to go back to normal. I'll definitely throw the link down below just to keep everybody updated with the safety rules, because they are changing. Um, almost every other day they're updating them, so I'll throw that link down below so everybody knows what's safe, how you have to travel, where you have to wear masks, and so on. And if you have any questions, just leave a comment below. We'll get back to you. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Absolutely, and we hope everybody stays safe, and aloha.